All right, man, let's get into this, man. Riots in Chicago. What's going on? I don't understand it. Before we get into that, Torture Talk, like, share, share, subscribe to the page. Tell your family about me. You know, tell everybody to click this video because it helps the channel. Also, if you feel like you want to donate, my cash app's in the link. You can donate dollar, two dollars, hundred dollars, thousand dollars. It don't matter. Helps me grow my channel. And you know, helps a black man do his thing out here. All right, man. So let's talk about this, man. So this morning I wakes up and I see a female saying that she is part of Black Lives Matter, black female. And she is doing a protest stating that stealing from stores and looting from stores is a part of reparations. These stores have insurance. This is her, this is her logic behind this. These stores have insurance. So yes, we're stealing because we're suffering. See, this is what pisses me off about, about certain people in this country. Certain black people, I should say. There's certain white people too. Not just black people. This is white people sitting in that crowd too. So certain white people, certain black people. This is what kills me about y'all young people. You're not suffering, man. You're not suffering. How are you suffering? How? In the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, the 30s, they were suffering. Even before that, they were suffering. You're not suffering. This is what kills me about y'all. Y'all make up these narratives because y'all want to be seen. It has nothing to do with you being that you're suffering. How are you suffering? How? How? You have much more opportunities right now than any black or white person in history so how the hell are you suffering how tell me how you depressed tell me how how systemic racism has has confronted you as a new age millennial how you guys are destroying yourselves period so when you hit when you say stuff like Oh, looting and rioting and burning is okay because we're trying to tear down the system. This system that you're trying to tear down does not affect you at all. How? Tell me how. If I'm wrong, explain it to me. How the system affects these young people that go along with the same people who imprison you, who, who, who created the narrative. These same people are the driving force behind your fist or your hand or your hammer that makes you smash these windows. And you're saying that you're going against the same people that help you do these malicious things. You're going, you're on the same side of these people. You're fighting on the wrong side of history. That's the thing. So when you make comments like that, it's disgusting because truth be told, you're really not going through anything. That's the thing. You're not going through anything. You're saying, oh, and I wanna get into that. I'll talk about that in the next video. But but you're saying, oh, we're, we're, we're going through so much. You create these problems. Because you follow what you see without getting any evidence. Without getting any backstory, you just go along with, with everything you see because you want to be the center of attention. And a bunch of y'all, social justice warriors, that's what they call them. And they have no reason to do a lot of things that they do. Because you ask them about policies, you ask them about, about anything when it comes to statistics, or data, they don't want to answer it because that's how they feel. I feel this way. I feel like this. 
Your ancestors fought for you to be where you're at. Simple as that. So again, man, like, share, subscribe to the page. It's disgusting what's going on in Chicago. And I can't believe that I'm not going to say it's all Black Lives Matter. But I'm going to say I can't believe that. Uh, let's just put this out there. Whether people want to say Black Lives Matter was infiltrated, Black Lives Matter need to distance themselves from these type of rhetorics because honestly, honestly, if they don't within the next, I would say, month, then I'm forced to believe that they're part of it. I'm sorry to tell y'all. Because you have to you have to remove yourself from the situation. And and please don't jump in my comments saying, oh, Trump didn't denounce the KKK. He been did that. Go do your research. Because y'all not paying attention. Y'all don't watch his speeches. Y'all don't watch nothing from Trump. So if y'all don't watch nothing from Trump, guess what? If y'all don't watch nothing from him, then y'all automatically believe what the media tells y'all. Or y'all automatically believe. You got to watch his stuff. He, he automatically did. I remember somebody else arguing with somebody about him, him when he talked about George Floyd. He said, oh, he never said nothing about George Floyd. I said, yes, he did. See? This is what I mean. Did a whole 45-minute segment on George Floyd and how police brutality was wrong, how they need to correct it. But you didn't watch that. You didn't pay attention. So that's what happens with a lot of you. Y'all don't pay attention. Y'all pay attention to what things what, what makes y'all feel a certain way. Y'all don't pay attention to real life situations. Y'all pay attention to situations that make y'all feel a certain way. It's disgusting what's going on in Chicago. And I think they definitely should send the National Guard and then take over. For real. Because if it doesn't happen, it's going to keep on happening. And these people who saying they want respect they standing on the wrong side of history because the respect that they're asking for to be honest with you is from the same people that provided them systemic racism and they're fighting with them same people which is stupid to me like share subscribe to the page torture talk